Hola, en esta lección vamos a hablar de los verbos irregulares en el tiempo futuro. Before watching this video, you might watch the previous video on the regular verbs in the future. Now, if you remember from the previous video, to form the future, we take almost any verb in the Spanish language, like bailar, to dance. Now, for the future, we won't take anything off like we usually do. Instead, we'll take the entire verb, bailar, and we'll add the following endings. Bailaré, I will dance. Bailarás, you will dance. Bailará, he will dance, she will dance, or you, formal, will dance. Bailaremos, we will dance. Oh, bailarán, they will dance, or you all will dance. But if you remember from the last video, I used a verb that was a little bit weird. The example was, habrá. Una cura para el cáncer. Habrá is from the verb haber. It's the future form of I, there is or there are. And habrá means there will be. It's irregular because it should be haber plus a, that is, haberá. But instead it's habrá. The interesting thing is this is not the only verb that's a little bit strange in the future tense. So I went ahead and I searched on Google for all sorts of sentences with the other irregulars in the future. And first, I'd like you to try to figure out which is the best translation. Then, find the irregular verbs in the future in each sentence and guess what verb they are from. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time and check the word bank if you aren't sure about a word. ¿Tendremos que inventarnos un mundo mejor? ¿Cuándo saldrán más colores para la Nintendo 3DS? ¿Qué nombre le pondrás a tu bebé? Con todo y eso, no sabemos bien cómo cabremos en mi nueva casa. ¿Algún día sabrás la verdad y me pedirás perdón? Cinco insectos que no querrás encontrar en tu vida. No podremos sobrevivir si solo nos interesa nuestra propia supervivencia. No te estoy diciendo que será fácil. Te estoy diciendo que valdrá la pena. Yo sé que un día tú vendrás. ¿Quién dirá la verdad? ¿Quién me hará feliz? Could you find the different irregular verbs in the sentences? Let's take a closer look. You should have found the following. And these are the verbs that they come from. You can see that they're irregular because they don't follow the normal pattern of an infinitive form plus the endings of the future. Instead, you have some kind of weird spelling differences. So once you remember that these are our building blocks for the future tense, and you know the, the endings of the future verbs, then you can actually construct it fairly easily, as long as you remember that these are a little bit weird. So if you can remember all of these irregular forms for these verbs, you can pretty much conjugate any verb in the future tense fairly easily. Let's see all of these changed to the different forms. Now how about a little practice? Here's the deal. I'll give you the person doing the action and the verb and you go ahead and try to change the verbs into the future tense. Then, see if you can figure out what it's saying in English. Pause the video if you need more time and check the information below this video for more help on changing the verbs if you need it. Querré. I will want. Vendrá. Juan will come. Pondremos. We will put. Las chicas querrán. The girls will want. 
podré. I will be able. Cabras. You will fit. Ustedes tendrán. You will all have. Paco y Susana saldrán. Paco and Susana will leave, or they will go out. Usted sabrá. You, formal, will know. Diré. I will say, or I will tell. Los estudiantes harán. The students will do, or the students will make. Bien. Now, one more thing. How about I give you some sentences in English and see if you can translate them into Spanish using these irregular verbs. Now, there can often be many different ways to say the same thing in Spanish, so keep in mind that my answers are just some suggestions. Roberto will leave prison after New Year's. Roberto saldrá de la prisión después del Año Nuevo. Don't worry, I'll tell them that you're sick. No te preocupes, yo les diré que estás enfermo. If those children realize that their parents aren't poor, they'll want more toys. Si aquellos niños se dan cuenta de que sus papás no son pobres, querrán más juguetes. If I study all night, maybe I'll know everything for the test tomorrow. Si estudio por toda la noche, tal vez lo sabré todo para el examen mañana. Without internet access, we will not be able to check our email. Sin acceso al internet, no podremos checar nuestros correos electrónicos. If you all leave your belongings on the floor, the maid will put them on the beds. Si dejan sus pertenencias en el suelo, la camarera las pondrá en las camas. If the students have too much homework, it won't all fit in their book bags. Si los estudiantes tienen demasiada tarea, no cabrá en sus mochilas. This Saturday, if they aren't there, we will not have anything to do. Este sábado, si no están ellos, no tendremos nada que hacer. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful and you now understand better those irregular verbs in the future tense. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this video, and feel free to try out your own sentences using the future, both irregulars and regulars, in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and nos vemos.